say you can make him, he does a sit. Yeah. All you have to do is start letting him know you want more of that behavior. So I don't want him to come out of the crate until I give him the okay to come out. Nope. Hey, sit. Good. He sits, the door opens up. He gets up, the door closes. Sit. Sit. Good. Good boy. Nope. So the first thing is you don't let him ru come rushing out because that, that um, frame of mind he's coming out with is only going to carry over. So if you can get him to sit and be calm, good boy, and let him know this is what you want. Good boy. Very good. And, you know, I, I see the cat there. What did you expect from him when he saw the cat? Did you expect him to go a little crazy? Um, he usually doesn't when he's in his crate. He just stares at her. Okay. But when he gets out and he sees her, he hovers over her. Yeah, he likes to run right up to her and, and like, stand there and stare at her. And then the more she tries to kind of, like, get away is when he'll start to get a little excited. And you know, the, best, the best way you get to tell him no to something is you would have to have a leash on so you can, you know, at least get him to not go for it with the leash. Right. And, you know, not with your hand. Hey. Right. Hey. Hey. So I'm, I'm thinking he's probably going to resist a little bit when I start telling him, no, you can't do this, no, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. But he should understand real quick. Let's go. Good boy. You know, the, the little jerks. I'm using that. No. That was hard. No. And he needs that to stop. Mm -hmm. He's got that was that was hard. Yeah. Sit. Come on, sit. Good. Come on. Come on. And no one's ever said no to him. In a way that he understands. Uh-huh. Come. Come on. Good. Come I think on. whoever was before us really also played pretty rough with him. Because I'm sure. when he plays, it's he doesn't know when to stop. And here, as the clip says, I had to take a step back because, like I mentioned earlier in the clip, the timely correction I gave him, I knew that might have come into play later on. And I, you know, I had to take a step back to remember that. So here, I put a slip lead on him, and I give him you know, a couple of feels of what the difference is going to be like. I didn't want to force him around as usual, so I wanted him to see that, okay, there's a different feel, and I'm not going to horse you around, even to the point where at one point he wanted to walk away, I just let the leash go and let him go. So at that point, I wanted him to know that, you know, you're not being forced to do anything, but if you come over here and give me a few minutes, I'm going to make sure that, you know, you're going to get into this with me. So there he, he was, he walked away. And I just let him know, I reassured him, that every time he, he goes up there, it's going to be a good thing. So here you start seeing the tail wag, you know, almost immediately when I start, you know, softening up on him. Here, I, it's, he's starting to make me work, so I take my jacket off. But here it's just fast forward to let you see that, you know, it, I didn't want to force him up here. I wanted him to get up there on his own. And that's a good boy. So here you can see the tail is starting to wag. He's starting to get into it. And you'll see later on that he, he, he really came around as they all do. Very good. 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 Very good.
if you take little tiny steps, especially for him, mm -hmm. the confusion, that confused look he had before, that'll start to go away because he'll, he'll know what, what you want. Good boy. And that's just going up here for now, right? That's what's going up there. Very good. Good boy. So the more you practice this, and yep. the more you don't let him practice what he used to do, mm -hmm. the more you're going to get this. Um, <laughs> We have a saying, what you pet is what you get. Mm -hmm. So like out there, if he was all excited, and anytime you touch him, we want to call that a pet. So if it's good or bad, uh -huh. if you touch them, they like it. Mm -hmm. They like it, right? Good boy. Yeah, good. You still like that nip. But you see how less, and, you know, less frequent it is? OCD? OCD. Um, no, his, his main problem is lack of socialization when he was younger. Um, and like I was saying, the more you were telling me, the more it made sense on what I was dealing with. Very good. But good boy. Good. Very good. No, 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 no. Good. Good boy. Very good. But good boy. So I didn't want to push it. I got you know, almost all the way around, and then I freed him up. Mm -hmm. So I want him to know that if I'm up there, you might walk around, you might do whatever. He has to stay there. Mm -hmm. And you do want to be in position to block him with spatial pressures. Good boy. Very good. Very good. So I'm rewarding him just for sitting. Very good. Break. Good boy, and I get to practice you know, his release work. Yeah. Please. Good boy, very good. Good boy, very good, very good. <laughs> very good. Very good. And now you're acting like you sh should have acted the first time. <laughs> <minutes>. Seriously. <laughs> And that's what I was saying before. Once, once you get them to understand, hey, you know, it's, it's not bad. But if I do this, I get a good. Once you understand that, mm -hmm. the, the tail will start wagging. They'll start doing it more and faster. Please, good boy. Then nobody ever told me if I sit here like this, it's a good boy, right? Break. Very good. So again, I'm practicing that break word. So what if I take him outside on a structured walk? Um, you know, especially first thing in the morning, I bring him out there. I don't let him go on his own. Nope. Good. I bring him out there knowing he wants to go. I, if it's asking for a sit is too much at that point, I won't, but I won't let him go until break. I say break and then, you know, kind of let, let him know with the leash, hey, right. go. Later on, one of the things that usually gets the dog to break the command is when we, good boy, when we drop the leash, then they look down, hey, you don't have me. Mm -hmm. And they, some of these dogs understand that, and, oh, let me get off now. Right. But that's why I drop the leash in front of me so I can pick it up. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. You know, hopefully before he gets all the way off. <laughs> right. I mean, if I wasn't looking at you, I would have looked at his body and, you know, stopped him the first. Um, I don't know if you ever watched Caesar Milan. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. You know, he talks about, you know, they, they're looking for a leader. A leader has to know what to teach them. Mm -hmm. I, I tell people it's like teaching a new language. For me and you to learn a new language, we got to practice over and over and over. For them, they're not verbal creatures. They pick things up like that. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying with my body is more than what I'm saying with my mouth to him. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying with my mouth, he doesn't understand. Right. But my body, he understands. Mm -hmm. Break. Good boy. Good boy. Very good. Good boy. Very good. And you see how my hand is? So if he chose us to get off, I want to be able to just bring center him, center him back like that. Good boy. Boy. Hey, good boy. Yeah. And you, you know, 
know, you have to be mindful if, if at this stage of the game, if he's got three paws on, mm -hmm. you want the fourth one on. Mm -hmm. Right now, I don't think he knows that the fourth one has to be on yet. Good. Very good. They can turn around, do whatever they want when they're on a place. They just can't get off. No, no, no. Good. Very good. Good boy. No, no, no. Good. No, no, no. no. Good. Very good. No, no, no. You know, for the average person, what I'm doing now, when I leave, it's gonna it's gonna look sloppy for you guys. But each time you do it, it's gonna get it makes better. Sense. Yeah. It's like you know, again, I'm teaching him something. There's a lot of what my body is saying to him that you guys don't understand. Mm -hmm. Well, but, I, I already see like that he is a trainable animal. Like we. You know, we've been doing some things and haven't well, been I, able to have haven't really been able to see that. Good boy, good boy. So the next thing, you know, all I would have to do, be, start being done is getting him up there and telling him, no, you can't get off mm -hmm. until I tell you. Okay. Good boy, very good. So right now I'm petting what I want. He's just sitting there. Good boy, okay. very good, very good. And if you take little tiny steps, especially for him, mm -hmm. The confusion, that confused look he had before, that'll start to go away because he'll, he'll know what, what you want. Good boy. And that's just going up here for now, right? That's what's going up there. Very good. <laughs>